Today I'll be reviewing this Airsoft replica of the Avron M50 gas mask and <clears throat> this belt rig I found. So let's get started with it. So first of all this is obviously an Airsoft replica as you can see from behind here. It doesn't really have the gas mask workings. It has a mesh mask for protection and um, has these straps on it but inside there isn't really anything special as you can see they're just uh, this little facial uh, I don't know what for, com for it being comfortable I guess and it has these optional and nothing in here really works like that because it's a replica for Airsoft so, and then we have these lenses, which are interchangeable. So, let's read what they have to say. Shit. In, uh, in the uh, manual. So, let me show you the box first. So, this is Chinese, okay? The box uh, broke apart. So, basically, it's ZJZ, Zujize, something like that. And, uh, as you can see, it, is, it says right here, M50 and blah 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 some stuff like that so as you can see right here too and 50 blah 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 let me read it out it's chinese it's translated into english it could be broken so it's not really me speaking the broken english it's the thingy itself yeah you can see it right here i don't think you can read it but let's just say M50 gas mask is the latest generation service gas mask. Usability, protective, and SHU eligibility is currently the most advanced modern gas mask. Zujize M50 gas mask DC15 version on the basis of the original product in line with the comfortable, practical, and realistic concept of safety improvement with this product without any antivirus function. Now... I'm kind of lost with the English that they're using here, you know. I don't know what they're trying to come up with, but let's just proceed. Uh, blah, 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 CS field cycling, military training. True military training because it does restrict your breath like a uh, real gas mask would. Anyways, let's uh, finish this off. Each product, uh, so it says, elastic band to adjust. Uh, adjustment buckle can be worn easily to adjust the how tight it is like you can see right here uh, it has these little buckles right at the sides here you just pull it gets tight I wear it I'm gonna wear it later I'm gonna show it to you in, in the end of the video so uh, each forehead each product distributed with a forehead cushion you can see it right here forehead cushion it's nothing really special and uh, simple lens anti-fog, nah, this is just bull crap. Then you got the weird looking mesh mask, something like this. I know, I don't really like the design of it, it looks weird on me, especially me. I'm not wearing a mask. So it has, first of all, it has these interchangeable pieces. Now this is just like just to block it off. I just did it so insects don't go into it while I'm, you know, just keeping it. Because I just keep it on the shelf most of the time. So this is what it looks like without any of that stuff. And else than that, we have this. These two things that actually do look like the real deal. But actually, if you see inside here, they have little CPU fans. Now the real question is, does the gas mask gas mask? No, the gas mask does not gas mask. But it, but these little CPU fans aren't just CPU fans, they work. You press this button right here. You can't feel it right now, but it works like a vacuum. So basically if anything goes in there, it's basically supposed to vacuum it out. I don't know how exactly this is supposed to work, but whatever it is, I think it's a pretty cool design. I love it like that. Let me just wear it for you, the viewer, so you can, you know, uh, come up with an opinion with it. So this is how it roughly looks like on a person 
like me, uh, as you can see, it is quite the goofy looking without the canister. Let's try to shove one in if I can. Yeah, there you go. Shove one in. Let's shove two in if you can. Yep. Shoved two in. And now it looks somewhat natural. As you can see, it's impairing my voice even more than it just than it just impairs my voice with only the mask on. So I guess this is pretty nice. Okay, so that's the Evron M50 uh, Zujize Products Chinese replica complete. So let's move to the other product, which is the belt rig, which actually has some real military use because me, a person like me, I like uh, tampering with actual stuff. You know. We're really hard with the LARP light. So, okay, we get this. So, I got this from Dominance.pk. Okay, Dominance.pk. This is a domestic company which sells hiking and traveling gear. As you can see, it has some mollies right here. Could pack, uh, fit a radio in there or something like that. Got two molly packs. It was actually, it looked way smaller to me in the products. I'll put in a picture right on the side if I can edit it in. And in real life, it's actually way more surprising. The Yeah, you can see the company right here. Right here. And uh, you can see, I don't like the really reflective thing. Like in dominance. Dominance. No, I don't like that because I like my things to be low-key, stealthy. I don't want the light to be shining off of anything that doesn't really need to be there. You know, the all light, shiny things just ruin it for me. I'm probably going to spray paint it or try some way to just, you know, dull it out. So, this is how it is. It has six pouches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm going to show you how well. So, these zips, I don't know. Those zips look like basic backpack zips. But let's see what they have inside. Let me open them all. Be with you in a bit. Okay. I'm done uh, opening it up, so let's just check what's inside. So this is the first zip. As you can see, it's it's nothing really uh, special inside. Uh, first one, the big one, just has a pouch in there. You know, for money, you want to keep your ID card in there, money in there. This is basically for traveling. They didn't actually say it's for law enforcement purposes. But me, a person who LARPs on a budget, I think this is perfect for me. It's army green too, ranger green. I like ranger green. Other pocket, the same. Goes That goes with the rest too. But they're nice, you know. They're, they're nice. They can go, uh, they're pretty deep. And uh, right here too, as you can see, it's okay. It's pretty good size. For my utility stuff, I think this is perfect. It's the same here, so that's why I didn't open it up. It's too much of a hassle right now. So, it has these adjustable buckles, which I think is really nice too, but my waist is so thin, my waist is so thin that uh, even like at the tightest settings, it's hard for me, so I'll have to put it inside a belt loop or something, or get it big enough, so it fits my waist, my waist is too thin. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, I think that's probably not the best thing, and not really a bad thing at the same time. So I guess this will be all for the review. If you ask about this, Avron, Avron mask, I think for a Chinese product, if you do airsoft for facial protection and stuff like that, I think it's a perfect choice because most people I know don't want to do law enforcement or something, but Dominus on PK really made me proud with this product. I haven't put any utility equipment in here. Obviously, the inner part of it, no, it's not really that thin. I thought it would be thin. No, it's not really that thin. It's nice and all, only I, I just think that this part, you know, the, I don't know, I don't really like it. The mollies, the mollies are great, a little tactical, uh, a chef's kiss from the tactical side, you know, a little molly. Who doesn't like a little molly? This is, fly, uh, this is from the rear, you know, got a tactical belt lock right here. So, I think this video was an absolute win for the first video I've ever made. I think I'd be panicking more. I'd have to make more than one or three takes. So this video is going to be pretty much 10 minutes or something. Although I aimed it for... Aimed it to be more like... I don't know... Uh, a few minutes. It's 10 minutes. And let me just show you on my waist. 
how it looks. So basically it's like this. It's supposed to come up like this. And um, yep. Basically like this, but for me it kind of slouches off like this. I haven't put any equipment in it yet. And I don't think I will for a while because I'm trying to get my kit and stuff like that in full motion. So in the end I won't have enough. I don't really... I don't know. <laughs>